An easy to use feature for your virtual machine is to set up a shared folder between the host system, in my case Windows, and the guest system, in my case Fedora Workstation 32. To do this, we will start with our file explorer and we will create a new directory on our host system. We provide the directory the name, for example, sf for shared folder. And because now this shared folder is located in the OneDrive directory, I will change some important settings for the shared folder. One of the settings that I will change is to always keep this folder in this device so that no synchronization issues will appear. In the next step, I will also change some permissions. So I will review the properties of this shared folder. I will review the security settings. And for the security settings, I want to provide full access for everyone. So I will change the settings for everyone. I will edit them. And I will grant full control over that shared folder. If you don't have a group called everyone, you can do this separately for each group that is available on your system. You can allow full control over that shared folder. I select OK, and if I open the shared folder, the shared folder will be complete. For ease of use, I will copy the path to the shared folder so that I can use this in the settings of my virtual machine. In the virtual machine settings, I go to the virtual machine of my choice, I go to settings, and in the settings, I go to the shared folder tab. Add a new shared folder, I will use the plus sign. With the plus sign, I will copy the path or I will paste the path to my shared folder. It will then be called SF and I will auto mount the shared folder inside my virtual machine. I complete the setup with OK. I confirm again with OK. And the next time I will boot my virtual machine, the shared folder will be mounted. I will boot the virtual machine for the first time. I will log in as guest on the system. I provide the password, the rest 2023. And I will open a new terminal application. shared folder should now be mounted, mounted to the slash media directory. So I am now located in, my, located in my home directory. I will move to the slash media directory using cd slash media. Enter. I can view the content of that directory using ls. And you will see that sf underscore sf is now available, which is the directory located also on my host system. The only problem that we have is that we only have access to the directory if the user belongs to the VBOX SF group. So this means if I would like to move to the directory, so cd sf underscore sf, that I get a permission denied. To add the user guest to the VBOX SF group, we use the command sudo usermod minus small a, minus big G, vbox sf, and then the username I would like to add to that group. I am now logged in as guest, so I use guest. I provide my password, west 2023, and the user is now added. I will still not have access to the group until I reboot the system. So I will reboot my virtual machine and then I will have access to the shared folder. Again, I log in as guest with my password. I start the terminal application. And now I will be able to enter the shared folder. I use the command cd 
slash media slash sf underscore sf and this time I will be able to enter that directory. When I review the content of the directory with ls, you can see that no items are available inside this directory, which is also visible in Windows. I can now create a new file using touch, touch file.txt. As I execute this command, you will see that a new file will be created in the shared folder, which is visible on my whole system. When I want to review the content of the file, and I will display the content of the file using cut, cut file.txt, you will see that the file is empty. So it created a new empty file. If I now open the file in Windows, it will open in a text editor. I can type something, welcome, enter. I can save the file, file save, and I can now close the file. If I now return to Linux, and I execute the same command again, which I can do with the arrow key up on the keyboard, and on the previous command, I execute the command, the text that I entered in Windows will be displayed. This, of course, works in both directions, so I can edit the file in Linux and review the results in Windows or the other way around. And in this way, we have successfully set up a shared folder between my host system, which is Windows, and my guest system, which is Fedora Linux.